full swing across our state, but when it comes to making sure people are better prepared for the next big storm, a team of researchers says it's best to look to nature for guidance. ABC Action News reporter Rochelle Aline and photojournalist Delisa Walden went down to Bonita Springs to learn more. Bonita Springs is no stranger to the devastation of Hurricane Ian. And as the conversation about long-term recovery begins, experts at the water school at Florida Gulf Coast University are taking us out by canoe to see what lessons about resiliency can be gleaned from nature and more specifically from mangroves. The team has been studying this massive plot of mangroves since Hurricane Irma to get a better understanding of how these trees handle storm surge and how they can offer protection to our shorelines and to the people and buildings along them. Right now, in terms of reassessing, we're coming back to trees that we've already measured and gotten all these measurements for and seeing what happened to them. But once inside, researchers run into a unique problem. They're having some trouble pinpointing how much of an impact the hurricane had on this plot. You know, it's actually a, a good problem because if the trees had been more impacted, it's easy to walk through and say, snapped off dead, snapped off dead, snapped off dead. And what we got is alive, 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 alive. Their guess is that much of this plot was preserved by the storm surge Hurricane Ian brought in. I've always thought about mangroves protecting us from storm surge, and now I understand that storm surge protects the mangroves. It's a shocking find that they say points yet again to the important role these trees play in overall storm protection, and it also raises a few big questions about the role mangroves should play in rebuilding efforts. Should we be facilitating their migration inland as the sea levels rise? Um, should we be coming out and replanting in areas that may have been impacted by a storm such as Ian? I think that those are conversations that we need to have and we need to make those decisions based upon really kind of solid scientific evidence that supports us actually investing those resources in it. It's a conversation they say will come after the human traumas of Ian begin to heal. And it's one they say needs to happen in the face of rapid climate change. This is not the last Ian that we're going to see. Uh, so we, we got reminded we have to prepare ourselves. In Bonita Springs, Rochelle Aline, ABC Action News.